Country yeah, close up open. So we felt that maybe if we can instill some, some renewed pride in the community among the citizenry, if we can get them to go become behind the city as someplace special, maybe subliminally, if nothing else, they'll begin to think about, hey, we ought to shop in Ames. You know, this is our hometown. We're proud of it. They do have the merchandise here and so forth. It's a very positive-oriented thing, you know, like so fire yourself up. You know, like, uh, I'm sure if you're in the Super Bowl, you don't say, gee, I sure hope we win. Oh, I don't know, but my, I got an ingrown toenail. And it's what you can't do. That You say, hey, you know, raw meat. And bang, you go out there, you know, and rip somebody's face off. And you try and put your hand in their helmet, you know. I don't know. And if you can gouge him or hurt him, yeah, man, it's the same way with radio. You just try and psych yourself up, be positive. I was looking for what I consider to be typically British approach to ceramics, uh, trying to place them in their own tradition uh, in uh, comparison to our traditions in ceramics. So I, I did look primarily for people who were doing what I thought was unique. Good evening, I'm Twyla Young and this is Five Country Close Up. Tonight we'll meet a group of people that you may hear quite often but you probably have never seen. We'll also find out what kinds of plans and problems go into preparing an art exhibit. But first a visit to a couple of towns in Five Country. Small town retailers are facing a serious problem. Residents of their towns are taking their shopping dollars to larger metropolitan areas. So in response, many small town retail groups are starting media campaigns in hopes of drawing the shopper back to their stores. Tonight, Bob Pyle visits a couple of those towns to see how the campaigns are working. Some places are special to ya. Some places just always seem to give. Some places are special to ya. Just make you wanna get up and live. Hey. You're someplace special. Hey. You're someplace special. That's more than just a catchy little jingle. That someplace special spot is part of a well-developed community campaign underway in several Iowa communities. The first community in Iowa to use the someplace special campaign was Ames. The mastermind behind it was Jerry Larson. Larson works as promotional manager at KSI Radio in Ames. He told us that he felt it was high time the people of Ames worked together to promote their community. We believe that Ames is someplace special. We think that we enjoy the best of both worlds, small town Iowa living, but big city culture and entertainment and, and big eight sports and fantastic educational opportunities. Uh, our unemployment problem and our um, uh, inflationary problems here, I think, are less than other parts of the country because we have a high percentage of government employees here. They're somewhat recession proof. So everything seems to be really special here. And so it really fit home, for, uh, hit home rather, for, uh, for Ames and for us. After the news at 6 o'clock on 1430 KASI. Some places are special to you. So we hope it's a good promotional tool for us, a very positive way of getting our name out in the community. And we hope that it helps, uh, it helps the economy some, too, because we feel that uh, it has a unification factor to it. By being, uh, Everybody in town can be part of someplace special, whether you're a retail merchant, a student, or, or whatever. Larson's business is not the only one in town to benefit from the campaign. As far as he sees it, every business in town stands to benefit from the Ames Someplace Special campaign. We have the, the North Grand Mall Merchants Association and the Downtown Betterment Association and the Campus Town Merchants Association and a new West End Merchants Association. And oftentimes, for lack of, uh, uh, of communication or organization, they went their separate ways. Uh, one group would have a, a dollar days, and lo and behold, two weeks later, uh, the next one would have one, and it, wasn't, uh, it was just by accident. So the retail committee was looking for a way to unify the retail community. So we thought this would be an ideal way. So when we bought the package, we uh, made a master presentation to the retail committee uh, showing television as well as radio and print and so forth, and playing examples of city songs and how they might use this particular campaign, Aim Someplace Special, as their unification package. And they were very enthused about it, and they're using it now, as you know, on your television station as well as in radio, too, and also in print. The campaign is not cheap. And who's paying for it? The business community through private donations from businesses and community leaders. Larson and a number of other businessmen are raising enough money to start a drive they hope will put Ames on the map as a place to shop, 
plate and live well. We've had some very positive comments, not only from the merchants in town, uh, but also from the man on the street and from people at Iowa State University and the Department of Transportation and listeners calling up and so forth. And uh, it's been a very positive thing. Uh, again, I think it's a, it's a growing process. And I think uh, by the end of the year, after we've run the course pretty much with this uh, and some other ideas we have in mind for the summer and fall, that it'll be a universal um, uh, thing. And, uh, I think it's going to be a super thing for the city. We've been very pleased with the response so far. Businessmen of Ames wouldn't go to all this trouble if there wasn't a reason. According to Larson, the reason all centers around a lack of pride in the community. People who were here for a year or two and were not long-time, lifelong Ames residents didn't have that sense of loyalty to the merchant. They didn't think too much about jumping in the car and zipping down to Des Moines and doing some shopping. Well, we like to point out that that little zip down to Des Moines cost them six, seven, eight dollars realistically in gasoline. And we think they can find the same merchandise here at competitive prices and a much, you know, certainly as friendly a merchant and, and, and a customer and so forth to relationship. So we felt that maybe if we can instill some, some renewed pride in the community among the citizenry, if we can get them to go become behind the city as someplace special, maybe subliminally, if nothing else, they'll begin to think about, hey, we ought to shop in Ames. You know, this is our hometown. We're proud of it. They do have the merchandise here and so forth. So there's a residual benefit. And I don't know if you'll ever be able to measure X percent each gain in the next 12 months uh, as a result of this. But I think people will, after a few months, begin to feel better about their community and certainly perhaps better about the retail community too. Tom Evans runs Ames Stationery and he disagrees with Larson. He sees a community which is holding its own and that instead of losing business to a metropolitan area like Des Moines, he sees just the opposite. We think that uh, we are extremely fortunate to not only have a great retail area, but we have other tremendous attractions that draw people here. Of course, the university in and of itself with its tremendous facilities, its sports events, its cultural activities, uh, convention type activities that go on draw people in. That provides then, of course, when you have people, you have good restaurants. We think we're very fortunate to have uh, just uh, many, many very fine places to eat. This draws people into town. Uh, and, of course, naturally when they do that, uh, we hope that they like to look around and do a little shopping. And we Ames is one of about 40 cities in the country that are using the Someplace Special campaign, which is an irony of sorts because the folks involved in the Ames campaign wanted something unique. Radio station KSI just happened to have a promotion that, that they were involved in called Ames Someplace Special. And uh, so we lashed onto that, and particularly the TV part of it, the video part of it, and uh, are showing that, and we think it ties in just beautifully with our promotion. We, we wanted this to become more than just a station promotion, more than just a series of uh, nifty jingles about our city. We went to the Chamber of Commerce and again, and we presented this, and they've adopted it as part of their uh, ad campaign for the next year. We went to the City Council February 4th, and they adopted Ames Someplace Special as the official city slogan for the year. We went one step further. We went to the Ames Appreciate Ames Committee and put uh, together something called Appreciate Ames Someplace Special Week. The campaign seems to be working, and its benefits are being seen in areas other than the business sector. We've had some very positive comments, not only from the merchants in town, uh, but also from the man on the street and from people at Iowa State University and the Department of Transportation and listeners calling up and so forth. And uh, it's been a very positive thing. Uh, again, I think it's a, it's a growing process. And I think uh, by the end of the year, after we've run the course pretty much with this uh, and some other ideas we have in mind for the summer and fall, that it'll be a universal um, uh, thing. And uh, I think it's going to be a super thing for the city. We've been very pleased with the response so far. Though Ames is not experiencing trouble as much as other communities, the problem is there just the same. Big shopping centers and larger communities are drawing business away from smaller communities' cash registers and is posing a pressing problem for the downtown merchant. One town that is in trouble is Atumwa. In the past year, that town figures it's lost over $13 million in revenue to outlying metropolitan areas. The beauty of Atumwa, Atumwa, someplace special. Atumwa, Iowa, someplace special. This radio commercial, along with buttons, bumper stickers, and TV ads, are all a part of a massive campaign by local retailers to beef up the southern Iowa community's image. Estimated $13 million in retail sales leakage from the Atumwa market. And, uh, of course, that is of major concern to us. 
Rich Gross is manager of a woman's apparel store. He says he's aware of the massive loss of revenue to other communities. Because of that, he, along with a number of other local business owners, are behind the project 100%. Tremendous. It's spreading throughout Atomwa, Albia, these towns around us, Oskaloosa, within 30, 40 miles, even to Iowa City and Des Moines. The Someplace Special campaign is all a part of a carefully coordinated two-year master plan, which before it's through could bring to Atomwa a new spirit among retailers and shoppers alike, which could help keep millions of dollars being spent elsewhere in Atomwa, where it belongs. Bob reports that community cleanup projects are an important part of the retailers' campaigns. So in the next several months, don't be surprised if you see a number of volunteer groups out picking up and cleaning up in an effort to make both Ames and Atumwa someplace special. Coming up, a morning man and a couple of breakfast flakes.